Hey there YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and I'm gonna try an experiment today. I've never made this so you guys are along with me. One of my go-to recipes for making dinner when, I, when I'm kind of running late um, for my family is French toast. It's really easy, it's real quick. I always have the ingredients at hand and one night I was thinking, I, I don't know how I came up with this, but I just, I thought, hmm, French toast waffles. So let's see how this, this goes. I've got, uh, I figured what's known as Texas toast would be, would work well with this because it's a, it's a thicker bread, thicker cut bread. So I've got some Texas toast. I've got three large eggs. I've got some half and half. I got cinnamon. I love cinnamon in, in my French toast. And I've got uh, some vanilla. And I've got a waffle iron. So let me get these eggs mixed up with uh, these three ingredients and then don't get the French toast in that. And let's see how this works. I got a feeling it's going to work out just fine. Okay, got everything set up here. So here I've got three eggs. <clears throat> just going to beat these a little bit. Get them going. And you're just going to add a drop of vanilla. That might be about a, I'll say a quarter, quarter of a teaspoon. And some cinnamon. Say about an eighth of a teaspoon. Mix this well. I've got the got the waffle iron preheated. And then we're gonna add some half and half. Maybe, maybe about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons, whatever. Just kind of eyeball it. This is the first time. Okay, just incorporate that really well. Now the waffle iron takes, it'll make two waffles at a time, so let's, let's try this. Let's try doing two. Now let's do one at a time. <laughs> I don't want to overcrowd it. Since this is the first time, let's, you know, let's go with one, one at a time. So, just add that to the egg mixture. You really want to soak that up like a sponge, just soak it really good and let it sit. And then turn it over, soak it a little bit more. Get that egg mixture deep in there. Okay, let's transfer this to hot waffle iron. And then close her up. Yeah, there we go. So let's give this, uh, let's, I don't know, let's give this five minutes. Okay, see you in five minutes. Okay, that's been five minutes. Let's see what we got here. Holy cow! It came out exactly like I thought it would. Yeah, it looks like a Belgian waffle. So let's put some butter. Oh my god. 
goodness, this came out actually better than I thought. It looks just it looks just like a waffle. A little bit of pure maple syrup. We'll see what this bad boy tastes like. Nailed it first time. That is so good. You all have to try this. There you go. French toast waffles. Make it some.